visiting Chinese graduate student abducted in broad daylight. The suspect making his first court appearance on Monday after new details have emerged about how he spent his day just before the arrest. And ABC's Alex Perez has the latest details. This is the photo campus police say shows Brent Christensen, the man accused of kidnapping a 26-year-old graduate student, appearing at a rally for his alleged victim. The photo, taken by a CNN reporter just one day before his arrest, shows a 28-year-old wearing all black, standing alone on the outskirts of the crowd. On Monday, Christensen did not enter a plea during his first appearance in court, outside a crowd of hundreds demanding justice for Ying Ying Zhang. He's been charged with kidnapping, and if convicted, the penalty is up to life in prison. The FBI says Christensen, a former teaching assistant who earlier this year earned a master's degree in physics, told them he offered Zhang a ride, seen here in this surveillance video taken three weeks ago, the last time she was seen alive. But Christensen says he let her out after she became panicked when he said he made a wrong turn. Everybody's stunned. I've gotten many, many emails from uh, graduate students and, and faculty expressing disbelief. Investigators say Christensen recently visited a sexual fetish website on his phone, visiting a forum called Abduction 101, containing subthreads called Perfect Abduction Fantasy and Planning a Kidnapping. As long as everyone uh, keeps an open mind and listens to the evidence and doesn't jump to any conclusions, I think that'll be for the best. For Good Morning America, Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago. We want to thank Alex for his reporting. We want to bring in Callahan Walsh. He's a child advocate at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Welcome to you, Callahan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. And we want to go back to that photo that we saw in that piece, that, which was taken at a rally for the victim in the upper right-hand corner. That is believed to be Brent Christensen just standing there, the suspect who was arrested the next day. This is really disturbing that he's at this, but this sort of behavior doesn't surprise you, does it, Callahan? No, it doesn't. And, and we've seen stuff like this before. And you see it with arsonists as well. You know, they'll go back to the scene of the crime, watch the house burn down that they lit on fire. Uh, his arrogance, uh, his rep, he's reveling in, in his crime, and it's disgusting. And the suspect's phone had records of a visit to a fantasy abduction forum, according to investigators. How troubling is that to you? It's very troubling. Uh, he was obviously searching information, uh, trying to gain some experience on, on this type of crime, and, and he acted it out. You know, we are protected by our First Amendment rights and our freedom of speech, and uh, these websites exist. Uh, you know, they have policies that say it should be for consenting adults only. Uh, obviously, this is not what he used the information for. Um, the Internet has changed our, our lives for the better in so many ways, but there are still some dark places. Investigators say they have an audio recording, which we haven't heard yet, of Christensen, where he's talking about holding Zhang against her will. Why would he be so bold as to say that? Well, again, I think it speaks to his M.O. He shows up to the rally. Uh, he's bragging about his crimes. Uh, he, he, his arrogance is, is showing. And, uh, you know, he's a smart guy. I think he was a Ph.D. student and, and settled for a master's. Uh, you know, I think he was trying to thumb his nose uh, at law enforcement. But great work by the investigative team mm -hmm. capturing that audio. Uh, great job. And, and real quick, her body hasn't been found. Investigators are assuming that she's dead. She's been missing since June 9th. Why do you think they're, what do you think they're basing that on? Well, I'm sure there's some sort of evidence or, or uh, you know, hearing uh, his, his account of the, of the situation probably has led them to believe that. But these stranger abductions are the most dangerous. Uh, within the first three hours, the likelihood of a safe recovery is severely diminished. And, and because she's been missing for, uh, for over three weeks, I, I, that is another reason why law enforcement uh, mm -hmm. is likely to believe that she is dead. Callahan, we thank you so much for your insight on this 4th of July. Thanks for joining us. Dan? Thank you.